And our final witness is Ms. Becky Sanders. She is the director of the Indiana Telehealth Network based in Terre Haute, Indiana. She oversees the development and network administration of their 60 remote health care facilities. She is testifying on behalf of the National Rural Health Association. Welcome. You have five minutes for your testimony. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chairwoman Elmers, <coughs> excuse me, Ranking Member Richard, and members of the subcommittee. I am honored to stand before you today. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today on behalf of the National Rural Health Association and the Indiana Rural Health Association. As Representative Elmers said, um, the Indiana Telehealth Network um, has about 50, 60 members right now. We are one of the 50 remaining projects under the FCC's Rural Health Care Pilot Program. Uh, that program does allow for 85 percent um, subsidies for construction and monthly recurring services for rural health care providers. Um, we have 35 critical access hospitals in the state of Indiana. About 20 of them are participating in our network. We also have about 20 community mental health centers also participating in our network. We have found with the build out of the over 200 miles of fiber that we have put out that when we work with, through the Federal, Federal Communications Commission's Rural Health Care Pilot Program and the uh, objective scoring process that we have to do with that program, that is the rural telephone companies who have been our best vendors to work with. That is their market. They are friends and neighbors of those rural folks that are operating those hospitals, those clinics. Um, the banks in those communities. We have six different cases that are really strong cases about public-private partnerships between local economic development organizations and the health care organizations. The average standard construction for landline is about 40 about 40,000 miles or $44,000 per mile. And while I agree with uh, my colleague, Mr. West, that is more expensive than a wireless um, set up, health care providers will not rely on wireless to do their day-to-day -day business for telepharmacy, for radiology, for transferring electronic medical records. They do not believe that it has the five nines of reliability that the PSTN was built upon. Under the USF reform and the rural health care pilot program and the regular primary RHC program, um, we have found with the pilot that there are uh, a lot of administrative burdens, a lot of cumbersome forms that have to be filled out. I would argue that streamlining that program, continuing to allow consortiums to work together in a public-private partnership arena is the best way to go forward. Universal service reform needs to, be, needs to happen, but there still need to be subsidies out there. When telephone companies like Yadkin Valley Telephone were built hundreds of years in, in about 100 years ago, they formed co-ops, many of them. It was farmers in the rural communities that came together with doctors in the rural communities that wanted to have service in areas that other companies wouldn't touch. If we look at that kind of a, a message again, we look back to those types of cooperatives, I think we will find um, a very good way to go forward as we look at rolling out broadband to all of Americans across the nation. Um, just a couple other things. Um, we talk about America being the land of the dreams, and I thought it was very interesting last night in Washington, D.C., in my hotel when I was trying to do some final research for my comments today, that I didn't have enough wireless access in my hotel room to do what I needed to do. I, I think that there's, there's huge opportunities across the nation for wireline providers, for wireless providers to work together to bring to Americans what it is that we need to do. In those communities that I mentioned where we've got really good public-private partnerships, it's the local economic development folks that come to me and say, hey, I hear that you've got this program that can help us get fiber to our community. Not only is it going to help the hospital, it's going to help the community. And I've got businesses that want to relocate here that won't do it unless we have reliable broadband in our community. So what do we need to do to sign on? Thank you for your time today. 